Oh my gosh, here we are, our first Steamhead Virtual Maker Exhibition. Um, here I have with me is the awesome Miss Twyla Busby, and she is going to take me on a tour of uh, her virtual exp exhibition and of what her kids have done. Great, so here we are at the entrance, and my school is Hollinger K-8 in Tucson, and you'll see as we enter illuminated masks, the kids uh, learned how to use conductive thread here, and they wanted to tell a story with it, so they added their own flair. And our teachers get into it too, they're just as excited. And Hollinger's known for their uh, mariachi, so this is Los Perritos de Hollinger. They uh, sound great too. So are those, uh, oh, I didn't know that. That's them on the music files, nice. Yeah. Playing. All right, I'm going to turn it down a little bit and keep them in the background. So these are all things that the teachers have done because we've been in remote learning. So we call it Zoom Bake. They've done a lot of cooking, baking, uh, pumpkin counting seeds, uh, all of these things um, that I, you know, there's been some opportunities for kids um, as well as the trouble, the problems of remote, but uh, these kids they got to do a lot that we wouldn't have done in person. Um, so yeah, this is uh, these are second graders and fourth graders, both what? of those right here. Wow, so they were able to do all of that over Zoom together? Yeah, they did. They just got their ingredients and they baked together. Nice. They have great teachers that do that with them. Then we have, if you want to go around the corner a bit, um, straight ahead, this is our... Um, uh, okay, so these were our illuminated pictures. Again, we we're uh, using copper tape to just um, do circuits, circuitry. So they had to um, figure out how to draw their own circuit on the back, draw pictures, and so just uh, all in the part of telling a story. Nice. So um, integrating circuitry with storytelling. So behind that, we have our trash and where the students were supposed to design and create out of something that they would normally throw away. So we've got some of the designs and um, yeah, <laughs> there's uh, Victoria. This one I haven't seen, um, that's her purse. That's the first thing she made. And the, the lights, we learned how to control them with micro bit so that she could make them flash or not flash. Um, and so they needed to add it and then uh, Andy's got his drawings there, but uh, his camera was full, so he couldn't take a picture of what his actually um, his uh, artwork that he made. So he but made pants. Was, he made pants with paper, huh? Yeah, I think his plan was put the paper over regular pants. <laughs> <laughs> and nice for the dog too. And then this is um, with from Drachman. That's not Hollinger, but she's a. Uh, they're working on that. Oh, so wow. Newspaper uh, advertisements, all out of paper. Uh huh, Rebecca. Very nice, Rebecca. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, all of this work that we're seeing right now um, was done, uh, you know, with remote or distance learning? All of it there. We may put kits together to try and get them the electronics and things. These are works in progress. This is Adelene. She does a lot of design. There's her story. <laughs> that, you know, we got it in their head. It, it needs to tell a story. Tell us what it is. Very nice. And, Making um, with purpose. Uh, it's definitely important. Maybe share a little bit about um, the constraints of exhibiting in a virtual world. Uh, uh, I think, uh, you know, it's a little, it was a new skill for you to learn, right? Definitely. It was just uh, trying to move around and learning the keys and uh, how to do it, how do you put it straight. Uh, you see some of my things are a little off the wall, but again, I'm telling you the mouse <laughs> helped me. And then it's practice. It's no wonder the kids get good at it. They practice a lot. So, um you know, it, the constraints that we're finding out now is just the amount of pictures, the amount to, that we have in order to load it all. Um, but it was pretty relatively easy to get in there. And um, I think it's it's pretty impressive, especially for kids. You know, this is their Roblox or mine. So um, it, it looks like, um, you know, 
Uh, the pandemic definitely did not stop you guys in Hollinger, so. <laughs> no, we had to keep, you know, figure out something. And it was, we did have to get um, materials in, in the kids' hands. And there was an awful lot of, I lost this or I don't have that. But, we, you know, we just do the best we can. And, and um, keeping it low cost as far as the materials has been really good. What, what was, uh, you know, your team, you, the kids, yours uh, biggest takeaway? <laughs> Patience. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what, what I learned is um, I need to, it, the, I had the second and the fourth graders doing almost the same things. It just takes more time for the second graders. But they still, they still got it. And they have great, great teachers that would work with them and, and their parents. So, you know, it's age isn't really um, the problem or an issue. It's just the amount of time it takes. And like I tell everybody, uh, the hardest thing is trying to help kids thread a needle on Zoom. That's <laughs> All right, Twyla, it looks like um, we're wrapping up on this tour here. This is some amazing, amazing work. Uh, so what is that big blue circle there? I, you know, the funny thing is, is that when I first had kids in here, they immediately, this, what's this big, really cool portal thing here? I'm <laughs> going to go through it. And then boom, they were gone. I didn't even have to say anything. They were gone. But this takes you to the portal room where you can go to other schools, um, virtual rooms. And so uh, everybody can share and see what other kids have done. So there's ours. We're Hollinger K-8. And then we have, um, uh, there you go, International School of Nanshan in Shenzhen. We have our Make Fashion EDU. We've got, what, one Tucson, one High Tech uh, Middle. And Shenzhen. And the other one Shenzhen, right? So um, those those look beautiful. This and then... Uh, Says. Yeah, this is so amazing. So um, yeah. I kind of feel like, uh, you know, like <laughs> my heart is so happy right now. Like, you know, even even with the pandemic, um, we're able to collaborate and try things in a different way and still share with each other. Uh, I, I absolutely love this. I absolutely love this. Um, so as we kind of close out here, uh, what is your biggest takeaway after, you know, embarking on this? I, I do, you know, this is first time, your first time, our first time doing this. So, um, so it's um, a patience and a learning process. But I think also it's that, you know, it has been a tough year for some people, but that doesn't stop our creativity. We just try and find another way and things open up and, and you can learn more different things that maybe we would never have done this had there not been a pandemic. That's kind of sad to say, but. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Twyla. Uh, keep making keep making great things with you and your team. Uh, so for those of you that want to learn more about what we have done here um, or participate, uh, you can either learn more about it uh, in what we have written below, or you can head to uh, steamhead.space and you can find out more about uh, joining a virtual maker exhibition. Uh, there's some resources to help you get started here. Um, and also uh, we're a big network of educators, makers, and, and um, students. Uh, you know, we are here to help you get started. Uh, this is stuff that we, we love to do and we love to share. Thanks for joining us. Bye. Thank you, Carrie.